Hi, my name is Celeste, and today I'm going to show you how you can build a class using Wix bookings. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and click on the booking services tab when you are logged onto your Wix dashboard and then click add a new service. Now, since classes are for multiple participants, we'll go ahead and click this second option here. And then we'll say we want to offer this service as a class. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the additional details about this particular class. So this is actually going to be a cardio class. And here's where I can add in some subtitles. So a little bit of a description about the class itself, add an image just for a visualization description media. This allows you to add in even more characters about this particular cardio class. Cover image is something that would appear on this booking page itself. And then service gallery is another visualization for your customers to see what does the class look like or an example class, or what does the gym or studio look like? Service type, we already have class selected. And then service details. So capacity per session, we can go ahead and change that to be whatever we would like. Let's say only 25 participants can join. Now price per session, we have three options, fixed price, custom price, and no fee. We'll go ahead and do a fixed price at $15. Here's where you can change how the clients pay for this particular class. They can pay the entire amount in person, online, either online or in person, or they can do an online deposit and pay the rest in person. We're going to leave this as entire amount online for now. Location, this is based off of your business, but you can always change this later on to change the location of where you offer this class. Video conferencing is if you wanted to go ahead and connect it to Zoom and make this class virtual. Now, what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and add sessions. That way, people can go ahead and book this cardio class. I'll click Add Sessions, Save, and Continue. Now, what will happen is there will be a pop-up that will allow me to basically set the schedule for this cardio class. So let's say that we want to offer this cardio class on Thursdays at 5 p.m., and it's going to be an hour and a half. Location will go ahead and stay the location that you selected. And here's where you can select the staff member. We'll go ahead and choose Sammy. And then here's where you can say when it repeats. Does it repeat weekly, every other week, every three weeks, or every four weeks? We'll leave it out weekly. And we'll say we're going to start offering these classes on the 1st of July. If you have an end date in mind, you can go ahead and set that. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. Now, if I want to go ahead and add another session, let's say we offer it more than once a week, I'll go ahead and add another reoccurring session. So let's say we also offer this on Sunday at 5 a.m. And I can just click that and change it from p.m. to a.m. And this one's going to be an hour with Dave. We'll go ahead and leave this weekly as well. And let's say Dave doesn't want to start these classes until the end of July. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. And that's how we add those sessions directly from that service that we're creating. If you want to connect it to a pricing plan, you can go ahead and do that here. Additional settings, this is where you can change um, your online booking preferences. So we're going to accept these online bookings. Payment preferences, we've already done that, but you can also change that here. Group booking preferences, this is essentially lets you say how many people can a person book for during one booking. Booking form, this is you could either do the default booking form or you can create a custom booking form. And then once you're going ahead and you're done, you can go ahead and click save. And then I will show you another option or an example. So this is a cardio class that we have on a website. I'll go ahead and click on this image or I'll click book now. And here's where I can see, you know, the upcoming sessions for this cardio class. I'll click book now. And then I can go ahead and book which class I want to attend. So let's say I want to go to the 5 p.m. one on the 30th. Here's where I can either just book this individual session as a drop in or purchase it as a pricing plan. And then I'll click next to finish that checkout flow.